everyone, and welcome to the console patch notes overview for 411 Code of Chivalry. This patch features a brand new medieval inspired event and also Smite's newest Celtic god, Cacullin. Let freedom ring with Lady Liberty Knox. This July 4th inspired skin comes complete with firework effects. The deadly god of bats receives a colorful new tier 2 with Jababa's shadow. Also in 411, Dodgy, Knox, and Osiris all receive new and updated mastery skins. This patch, we're unveiling Code of Chivalry, a brand new medieval inspired event. Choose your own destiny as you complete quests to determine if you are a good knight or an evil knight. By purchasing the event bundle, you will unlock Draco Knight Tier, the Fire Giant Ward skin, and the Chivalry Loading Frame. As you complete the quest, you'll also unlock the Dread Knight Odin skin, Jackal Knight Anubis skin, Chivalry Loading Screen, Music Theme, and finally, both the Noble Knight and Black Knight Osiris skins. Since this is a buy-in event, if you do not complete all the quests, you'll still automatically unlock all of the event-specific content once the event is over. And now for the man of the hour, introducing Kakullin, Smite's newest Celtic god. This guy is ultra unique in that he's our first rage god. Instead of a mana bar, Kakullin has a rage meter, and when it exceeds 85, he turns into his berserker form, and things just get crazy from there. To read more about him, head on over to SmiteGame.com to see his full kit. With 4.11, there are a few console bug fixes and adjustments. We fixed an issue where items obtained in Adventures would not display in the item store until your next game. And we fixed an issue where players could lose controller functionality upon entering the Adventures vault. And guys, that wraps it up for the console patch notes overview for 4.11 Code of Chivalry. As always, head on over to SmiteGame.com to read the full patch notes or watch the patch note show with the high res crew.